Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello and thanks for joining us on The Naomi Show. Now to a common relationship issue. Picture this scenario. A guy breaks up with a girl and within a week he's calling just to say hello or suggesting they go see a movie. No, he's not saying he's made a mistake and he wants her back. He just wants to see her occasionally. Now, some girls in this situation end up putting their whole lives on hold in the hope that he's going to ask her to get back together again. And it can drag on for months, sometimes even longer. And of course it can be torture. So are these girls wasting their time? Well, psychologist Eve Ash has some answers. Well, Eve, as they say, breaking up is hard to do, but it can really drag out, can't it? Mm. And there's a lot of times where people go back mm. and they try again and then they break up again. And they can go through this cycle 10 or 20 times, which is really, really not good. Yeah, I think most of us, if we've been dating for a while, um, have, have been through that, haven't they? And one thing, backwards and forwards, this yo-yo. And one thing's for sure, we never look back and say, wasn't it great how we, <laughs> we how broke we, up, how and, we we broke up and we went back together and we broke up and we went back together. People never usually look at it as a positive thing. They might if they went back once and say, look, it was really good, we tried again, and then we knew that that was it. So I think one little cycle is okay, but I think repeated is a real problem because what you're doing is you're staying stuck. Mm. Now, when a man breaks up with a woman, you hear all these stories about him contacting her again. This is just one example mm. from the book, He's Just Not That Into You. Um, my boyfriend broke up with me three weeks ago and I'm devastated. The thing is, he calls me all the time, he wants to chat. My friends say that I should stop talking to him, but I think he misses me and I like that. I miss him. I feel if I stay in touch with him, he'll realise how great I am. What would you say to her? I'd say that if she's happy to continue a friendship and a casual relationship with him, fine. It doesn't usually work. In the few times that it does, I'm amazed, but mm. it usually then only works until one finds another partner and then there's a new period of upset. I think by the sounds of it, this person really needs to move on and cut the relationship because it's not helpful. It keeps you stuck in the past. It can be heart-wrenching, can't it? This whole Absolutely. backwards and forwards. You do actually get to the point, you see, see women get to the point where they're waiting again for the phone to ring, for the ex-boyfriend to ring, who they're not going out with anymore, but they're hoping he'll ring and say, well, let's go to the movies. Now, occasionally he does it, occasionally he doesn't. She's not in a position to complain about it, but it's just gut-wrenching, isn't it? Look, it, it's tragic seeing people mm. put their mobile phones in a visual place and stopping things. They can't move on in their life. And one really nice little tip is to change the name of the guy to something like, don't answer this. <laughs> <laughs> so when this guy rings and your phone, you look at it. That's a good one. Um, you know, it's telling you the message because there's this feeling of, it, it, look, it's very hard to cut off. And I think that people don't heal well until they can move forward. And they've got to do a lot of different things to move forward. They've got to get active. They've got to go and have fun. They've got to reconnect with friends who they may not have seen for a while and really try and cut ties with what is not helping them. Essentially, in this situation, a man has said, I'm no longer interested in you, you're dumped. Mm. And at the end of the day, if you allow him to keep dragging you through this, this mourning period where he's obviously trying to assuage his loneliness, perhaps, or he's getting over the relationship, which obviously he's doing too. Or maybe but he he's didn't. using her mm. to do that. Mm. And it just keeps the woman stuck, doesn't it? it? It totally does. And, you know, he may have broken up because he was trying to get together with somebody else and it hasn't worked. So mm. now he's sort of thinking, oh, maybe I, I broke up too soon. But, you know, once a guy has broken up, and in this case the guy has broken up, it's going to be very hard to trust again if you do go back. So, mm. I mean, I think allow it to happen once because it may have been a mistake and you can repair from there. But I really think that if this woman needs to connect with people in her life who are going to make her feel good who, so that she doesn't keep rehashing this broken relationship. 
Then, of course, there's the breakup sex, which can also really muddy the waters as well, can't it? A lot of women think, well, he slept with me. It was fantastic. Again, it was always fantastic. And, of course, it just drags her back in once more. Now, it may be fun at the time, but is it very resourceful? No. I mean, look, breakup sex is great. And if you're not having sex, that might be something you want to do and you take control of. But don't confuse breakup sex with a relationship. Yes, because a lot of people think, well, there's some hope. If he's sleeping with mm. me, he must like me. Therefore, we might get back together mm. again. And yeah, look, I know two people who are having breakup sex 10 years after the relationship and they both like it and it's like a, a sexual thing, but they're both onto other relationships. But a recent poll was saying that 100% of men polled said that when they broke up with someone, that meant they didn't want to go out with them anymore. That's right. So they're moving on at some stage or another. And I think what's hard is that the woman, if she keeps being dragged into that, she, to a certain extent, puts her dating on hold or puts the rest of her life on hold again. And then, invariably, the man goes out and finds another girlfriend anyway. That's right. Look, it, she just has to simply ask herself, do I want to be with somebody who has chosen not to be with me? Mm. Exactly. Why? Yeah. And there isn't a good reason. No. Okay, Eve, thanks for that. Thank you. And we look forward to your company next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.